follow my previous video, I'm doing a review on the movie Jonah Hex that I just saw. Uh, that's my movie ticket. Can't really see it that well. Everything's backwards, but whatever. I just saw it today, this afternoon, and I liked it, but I think the movie was a little too short, and the ending just came up without um, much building to it. The story could have uh, been expanded a little more, like they had time to do a full story, but the movie itself was only about like an hour and 20 minutes or so. And usually, from what I've seen, superhero movies usually last two hours or so, and they have this big, spectacular, epic story to them. Most of the times that is. Not like X-Men 3, which I didn't really like, but let's move on, because I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm DC all the way. Jonah Hex is a comic book character that I liked for years and years, ever since um, probably the... Justice League episodes from uh, the early 2000s when they go back in time to the Wild West and Justice League interacts with him and blah 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 whatever. Getting back to the movie though, the movie was, well, I liked it. I didn't really care for Megan Fox and she didn't contribute much to the movie other than just her presence, it's like when Matthew McConaughey is in a movie, it's just he's there but not in it, like just there. Josh Brolin I think is the name of the guy who was playing Jonah Hex. I think he played him pretty well and also the way that they portrayed his powers, his powers to speak to the dead um, and when he's coming like back from from the dead like the way they showed him during those parts of the movie were amazing and I loved it and also there were like levels to the to the character of Jonah Hex that I don't think would have been present if it were played by anybody else villains in the movie were crazy confederate bastards blah 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 uh, didn't really like them the story was great, but like I said before, it could have been just a little bit longer and fell down more instead of like what I think was an abrupt ending. It could have been expanded to much more than where they just stopped the movie. Joan Hex's friend, the guy who creates uh, those weapons for him, he was only brought up like near the end of the movie and only came back again right at the end of the movie. And I think that since this is the guy who's making his weapons, he'd have a greater presence in the movie. Like Morgan Freeman in uh, the Batman movie. I, I, I would have just thought he'd have more of a presence in it than just his two little scenes in the whole movie. Anyways, I like watching superhero movies. Uh, they're amazing. And if you like DC superhero movies too, check it out. If not... Like I said in my video for A-Team, go watch Toy Story 3 or some other piece of crap uh, that's coming out. Well, I shouldn't say some other piece of crap because well, I haven't seen Toy Story 3 yet and I might like it. But if you don't care about a superhero movie, just go watch something else. And that's about it. See ya.